open your mouth. Let me see if you can pronounce ji, qi, xi. Hey guys, I'm here to help you to pronounce ji, qi, xi, zi, zi, si, and zhi, chi, shi. Many Chinese learners find these nine songs are quite difficult. They're so similar and not easy to pronounce. Don't worry, today I'm here to help you. Let's start. I just pronounced like qi qi xi, zi zi si, zi zi shi, like many Chinese people do. But actually, these nine songs are unvoid songs. That means the exactly right way to pronounce them should be You may find that my mouth looks the same when I pronounce them. So how can I make them different? It is all about the tone position. You may ask me, but I cannot see your tone. So how can we make it? Don't worry, we have this. OK, let's go. There are three groups of songs. For each group, the tongue position is the same. Let's start with sh, sh, sh. First, put the tip of your tongue right behind your upper teeth. Leave a gap, don't touch. You get sh. Then, pull your tongue a little back. Here, just a little behind your upper teeth. Don't touch, leave a gap, you get. Then, pull it a little further back, around here, don't touch, you get. But don't do it too further back, not here. If here you got shh, it's not what we want. We want here, shh, shh, not shh. We want shh, okay? So here, shh, here, shh, here, shh. You can sustain these three songs for a long time like I do. Okay, so right now we solved most of the problems. We know the exactly tongue position for these three groups of sounds. Now we go to each group. For the ji qi xi, these three songs are made in the same position. You touch your tip of your tongue just around your upper teeth. Then if you stay your tongue for a little longer time, you can make ji ji. If you stay your tongue a little shorter time, you can make You can feel more air coming out of your mouth when you make ch, ch. Then you leave a gap, don't touch. You make sh. Okay, good. So stay longer time. Ch, ch. Stay the shorter time and make more air coming out. You don't touch, leave a gap. If you add a little e sound at the end, like many people do, you get ji, qi, xi. Good. Then let's look at so the position of your tongue. It's a little bit behind your upper teeth, around here. And here, if you stay the tip of tongue a little bit longer, you get tz, tz, tz. 
if a, a little shorter time, you get tch, tch. You can feel more air coming out of your mouth. Tch, tch. If you leave a gap, you get Okay, so longer time, shorter time, a gap, if you put a little uh sound at the end, then you can make z, t, s, like many people do. As for the same idea. You just uh, pull your tongue a little further back here. Then if you stay your tongue a little bit longer, then you got j, j, j sound. And if you leave your tongue a little shorter time, you got Sound. You feel more air coming out of your mouth. Same position. If you just leave a gap, you can make shh, shh sound. So, ch, ch, shh. If you add a little er sound at the end, you got ch, ch, sh, like many people do. You touch your tip of your tongue, just around your upper teeth. Stay longer time. Stay the shorter time and make more air coming out. You don't touch, leave a gap. If you add a little e sound at the end, like many people do, you get Qi, qi, xi. So the position of your tongue is a, a little bit behind your upper teeth. Longer time, tch, tch. shorter time, tch, tch. a gap. Tch, tch. If you put a little uh, sound at the end, then you can make z, c, s, like many people do. Pull your tongue a little further back here. If you add a little er sound at the end, you got z, c, s, like many people do. Thank you for watching. 下次见! found it. That's why you cannot pronounce Qi Qi Xi.